Noche UFC has been and gone, and after a night of incredible fights in front of a roaring Mexican crowd, it feels like the whole event has been tarnished. For the obvious reason, you know by the title of course it was that familiar story. The main event between Shevchenko and Grasso was obviously a close fight, and an exciting one at that. I for one had it 3-1 to one for Shevchenko going into the 5th, but I can of course understand the scorecards going the other way too. But what I can't understand is Judge Mike Bell giving the 5th round a 10-8 for Grasso. <laughs> Of course, this single decision resulted in the cursed draw, only the sixth in title history. Both of these women deserved a definitive result, and now the title picture is uncertain. Now, looking at the fifth round in detail, it was just as close as the other four, with Shevchenko sticking behind her jab and taking the majority. But a fateful takedown attempt nearly had history repeat itself, with Grasso coming close to a submission finish, a sequence which stole her the round. Stole is the key word here. I have to stress again, this round was competitive and far from a dominant one for either woman. At least we're putting Mike Bell so that we could say, okay, Mike Bell, I don't know what you were watching that made it a 10-8 round in the fifth. Like, what is that yeah, about? What not, did he, what not. was that about? I don't understand, but yo, yeah. at least your name's up there, Mike that Bell. That wasn't a 10 -8. So now oftentimes, if you believe a fighter is really close to finishing a fight, Maybe you're liberal with the 10-8, but that Mike Bell in round five is an absolute stunner for me, boys. Yeah, stunner. That, that, I don't understand it's, it. It's just odd, right? If you like this type of content, maybe consider liking or subscribing. Only a small percentage of people who watch these videos actually are, so it means the world. Poor judging is nothing new, and honestly, that's part of the problem. Think back to the classic John Jones versus Dominic Reyes fight. A close one, no doubt, but one that Dominic won soundly in most people's eyes. But of course, the judges saw it different and granted Bones the nod. George St. Pierre winning against the prime Johnny Hendricks when he left the cage looking like this was another. Does anybody here think that Johnny Hendricks didn't win the fight? You get the picture. Any other extreme robberies come to mind, don't hesitate to mention them in the comments below. Now, the real question is, how can we actually stop this in the future? These are people's livelihoods at stake. Fighters pour their hearts and soul and money into these training camps, diets, and everything in between, all before stepping into the cage for our entertainment. So it's important to recognize the magnitude of these judges' decisions as they have a huge impact on those who are, at the end of the day, regular people trying to make a living. For example, Shevchenko is now 35 and clearly at the tail end of her career. Whilst not at the dominant level she used to be as age is finally catching up to her, she was undoubtedly impressive in her performance last night and deserved the reward. But let's say they even make this rematch, the fight won't be on for at least four months. And in the fight game, the margins of the elite level are so thin and I wager Shevchenko will be slightly more off the pace by the time the rematch does take place. Right. I, feel, I feel maybe it's a little bit pressure because of like Mexican Independence Day. That's why it was kind of like uh, this. Uh, um, but I felt very confident that it was like 3-2 to my side. Uh, besides this, uh, in the first round I uh, broke my thumb and it, I felt through the whole, uh, whole fight a little bit like uh, a lot of pain. But I uh, kind of like back on my head, I felt that uh, people, all the people of the arena, they kind of like uh, came to see the fight. For one, judges shouldn't be sitting cage side. At an MMA event in person, it's pretty damn difficult to see much of the grappling exchanges without staring up at the big screen. Judges should be in their own booth with their own views of the fight on screens in order to get the most comprehensive perspective on each bout. Another huge factor which we've seen before is the impact of the crowd, something that could have been a reason for the 10-8 last night. When a fighter has a huge home advantage as Grasso did last night, every punch, elbow and stuff of a takedown is going to send the crowd into raptures, even if a given strike might not even be that impactful. Paddy Pimblett vs Jared Gordon at UFC 282 is probably the best example of this. Despite Gordon outstriking the Englishman, the crowd's roars behind each and every one of Paddy's strikes clearly were the difference maker in swaying the judges. Despite Paddy's certainty that he had won the bout, the immediate overwhelming reaction from both fans and media was clear. 